it is an absolutely beautiful morning here in Mississippi. I've been out talking to my peas this morning. I told them that they need to hurry up and get their buds on because winter is coming and they look too beautiful not to have buds and blooms so we can harvest peas. So I've been telling them they need to get with the program, but they do look absolutely beautiful. The color is amazing. They have grown amazing. But now we need some peace, so they need to get with the program. Colby actually planted this, but these are going to be our mustards, collards, greens, and I'm not sure real well how the sun is doing on that, so just let me walk down. You can see much of that is coming up. Looks absolutely beautiful. Row after row. We've been very, very impressed with the silage tart method. And as you can see, lots of sprouts woohoo so i wanted to give you all a quick update of where we are on our little piggies now as kobe told y'all and he mentioned they're going to actually be over there in those woods but we're not going to put them over there until they're big enough um so we don't have to worry about them at night now one of the other things i want to mention to y'all all this little poo poo not a big fan of poo poo don't even really like to talk about it but peppa and george have one little corner right over there and that's where they've always used the bathrooms right over there well these little rascals as you can see they just go everywhere so totally different breed totally different nature but we're super excited to grow these up because in several months um, we're going to use two of these, one for sure, possibly two, to start making babies. We're going to get a boy, breed them. Um, those two are the girls right there. The other ones are, are boys, but they are cut, so of course we can't use them. They will do strictly, strictly our bacons hams chops stuff like that so we're super excited about that um we'll have our own pork and we are just so excited you say hey Allie here's our girl Allie we're expecting her any day now we will be so glad whenever she starts to go into labor um, because we have not been milking in several weeks and we are really really ready for her to start um, to her for her to have her baby so we can start milking again we have missed we've been on store-bought milk my kids complain about it just about every day so Allie we're ready for that baby girlfriend um, and Elsa I'm gonna attach a link to our story on Elsa so many of you know that have followed our journey knows that Elsa was our milking cow we bought her from a dairy barn and milked her for several several months um, she ended up having some respiratory issues that we had to treat and uh, anyway I'll attach the video link but as you can see she's doing amazing she looks great she is such a sweet girl we are hopefully gonna have her calf January or February so it won't be too much longer and we're expecting her baby sometime then too hey girl hey girl she's a sweet sweet girl um, she's used to being around people and she really enjoyed uh, morning time with Colby 
she's kind of Colby's baby, but she does love everybody. So all the cows look good. Daddy O, you're always looking for food, aren't you, man? Ike. Now, update on him. He will be getting fixed very, 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 very soon. Probably as soon as we get back from this trip. He's going to be getting fixed. He will be our first freezer meat. And he really is pretty. His hair is beautiful. He really is sweet, too. But, um, you know, we bought him for meat. Y'all heard us mention several times our asparagus are back here. Um, they are only a year and a half. Well, they're going on their second year. So... Uh, we still have another year if you don't know much about asparagus asparagus you harvest on the third year i planted these from seed so we still have another year to go before we actually start harv harvesting asparagus off here but we're one step closer by putting the seeds in the ground letting them grow it just gets you one step closer um these are just some of my other herbs y'all heard colby talk about those so here are our soil block things that we started. So, oh man, our lighting is gone. Oh, that's not good. So this is gonna be Brussels sprouts. I can still see some of it. Brussels sprouts row. This is cabbage. So I've seen some of that. It looks great. This is spinach. I can tell from what it looks like. Rose is spinach. This is going to be broccoli, I believe. No, nope, cauliflower. Um, we've got broccolis. That's more spinach. Um, that's going to be uh, your different types of lettuces here. So, as you can see, this is different types of lettuces here, too. Yeah, that's called salad bowl. I was looking for my heirloom lettuce. Salad bowl. Alright, yeah. So this is my seed right here. And you can see that it is so much taller. Can you tell the difference on that? Looks amazing. So that seed that I collected from our lettuce from last year is very, very easy to do and you cannot beat free seed, y'all. So here's some of our other things over here. And you can see that there are some holes. We did lose a few, but the majority of it looks really good. Um, all of this down here is going to be broccolis. All of this over here is going to be broccolis. Look what is coming out of our compost. Big, huge, ginormous. And we're pretty sure it's a pumpkin. We might not actually get to harvest pumpkins off of it because of the time of year. There's pollinators down there. Hey, honey bee. Oh, don't sting me. So they're busy working. Isn't that amazing? They just know just exactly what to do. That's one of our honeybees. We're just going to let it go, and whatever we get, we get. We also have volunteer lettuce. So this stuff, we're just going to let go. Um, what we will probably do with this lettuce, since it's in the compost, is give it to our chickens, who loves lettuce. So thank y'all for joining me today as we kind of did a tour around the farm. I gave y'all updates on the pigs, updates on the garden, and we just kind of walked around and looked at the different things that we have growing um, that we is not ready to harvest right now, but things in the future 
like the potatoes and the garlic and um, peppers that are still, we are, produ we are getting produce from the pepper, so that's awesome. But several things that we're still looking for, like our lettuces and the soil blocks, which I will also attach the link so you can go walk back and watch our process of the soil blocks. Um, all of that stuff is coming up and doing good. So even though we've had kind of a downer week this week with the chicken um, stuff that's going on, um, we still have so much to be thankful for. Um, so many good things going on on the farm. So much to be looking uh, forward to in the future. So um, we can't let the little things drown out all the good things that's going on. So happy homesteading, y'all.